Little Gladys Knight and the Pips. This is another one. Sometimes I look out and people know the backgrounds. You can sing them. You can be the Pips. Feel free. with a friend of his by the name of Farrah Fawcett. You see, Farrah Fawcett told him that her new boyfriend, Lee Majors, was catching a midnight plane to Houston. So at the end of the call, he said, would you mind if I write a song and use you two as the couple in the song to tell the story? And she said no. So he wrote the song and recorded a midnight plane to Houston. Then it was passed on to Sissy Houston, who's also known as the mother of Whitney Houston, who's a wonderful singer in her own right. She took the song and said, hey, this would be a great R&B tune, but we've got to change the title, give it a little more urban feel. How about we call it the Midnight Train to Georgia? So they changed the title, and the only other thing that changed in the story was the leading city became L.A. instead of Nashville. After she recorded and released it that same year, it was passed on to Gladys Knight and the Pips, and the rest is number one music history. So now when you hear this song, think about the Million Dollar Man and the Charlie's Angels, who it was based on. L.A. proved too much for
Thanks for singing.